Choose your fighter. Lightning inspired. Fight. 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 What's up everybody? I figured I'd go ahead and make this video since I'm sitting in a parking lot waiting on my mom. <clears throat> I just got out of surgery about maybe two hours ago, three hours ago. Um, not a lot of pain to be quite frank. Um, I mainly just have a little bit of cramping, probably mostly due to the drugs. So we'll see how I feel later on. Um, but those of you who know how I healed from top surgery know that I don't I guess I have a high pain tolerance or I don't really you know I just do well with surgery um so it's been pretty easy I've mainly just been sleeping I got told I can sleep however I want so that's been really good with dealing with any of the cramping um just getting some snacks my mom is getting me some ginger ale and some cheeto puffs because I have been thirsting like hell for some some cheeto puffs um since yesterday and i i like had to be on that liquid diet um for the most part though i will be taking tylenol um for recovery they gave me percocet percocet got percocet but i won't be taking that because um i just don't like dealing with opiates or you know anything that the the you know hospital really gives me i don't like to even chance possibly getting addicted to any of it um also i struggle with swallowing pills and normally the pills they give me are really big for whatever reason when she tried to give me the tylenol pills and this small little cup of water it was like this much water i was like that's not gonna work because i normally guzzle like excuse me two bottles of water for a small pill like this like a really really small little pill um not as bad i can i can usually chew those um <clears throat> but she she found a method they gave me some um liquid elixir made me feel like you know i was in runescape for a little while taking it um <clears throat> but yeah i'm just chilling surgery is good i'm out um i'm vibing they said i have full mobility for the most part so walking upstairs is fine walking downstairs is fine lifting my legs has been fine um i feel like this is probably going to be a pretty smooth recovery i don't know exactly just yet everything they took out like if they were able to get my fallopian tubes um but i have a um post-op on february 8th and so i will talk with them then uh, mainly I'm just hoping that they left the ovaries, which I feel like they'll probably have left the ovaries unless there was some real need to take out the ovaries. So if that's the case, that's the case, you know, let it, let it flow, let it grow. Um, uh, so yeah, that's, that's all I've been doing. Not too much. Um, I've literally just been sleeping. All of the nurses at uh, Piedmont were absolutely fantastic, absolutely amazing. Um, it was a little um, off-putting, I won't lie, being in a hospital, just because this was the first time I've been in a hospital. Um, the Gender Confirmation Center is much, much smaller, even though they are partnered with a hospital for some of their surgeries. I went to their end clinic um, that's upstairs from their main building. 
um and so that's been really good <clears throat> thank you everybody who's been commenting and um you know sending me get well wishes thank you thank you thank you um i appreciate all of y'all's support um so yeah i will see you guys later um i'm sitting in a parking lot um but yeah thank you um and as always it is your boy matt turner i hope you guys have a great morning evening day or night and the next video will be my recovery i will see you guys next time all right <clears throat> Whew. sorry about that welcome back everybody it is your boy matt turner um and this is my recovery vlog series um, I'll probably have merged this with my actual surgery day because my surgery day uh, vlog was just really, really short. There wasn't too much that occurred or happened that I really needed to focus on. Sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> so yes, like I was saying, uh, recovery vlog. This is probably... So my surgery was Thursday. Um, January 27th. It is currently January 30th, 2022. 22. Um, <laughs> Taylor Swift, who remembers her. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, it has, it's been a smooth recovery. It's been um, three days total with today being the fourth day uh, since I got out of surgery. Um, at the butt crack of dawn um, not too much has occurred um, I literally don't feel any pain I feel no discomfort I feel no aches like I can walk around just fine I mean I'm not going crazy and like dancing and jogging or anything like that but I believe that if I wanted to you know I've gone on a walk down the street in my in my neighborhood um, so I feel pretty confident that if I just, you know, need to like go walk somewhere or even if I needed to go drive somewhere, um, I would more than able be able to do that. Um, <clears throat> my throat, that is one thing that is still occurring. Um, they did have a tube, uh, a breathing tube that went down my throat. And so my throat's not necessarily sore. It's just kind of like very clogged all the time. And so swallowing is a little bit difficult. I'm still trying to get um, like my saliva back in control, if that makes sense. Mountain Dew is probably not the best way to go about that. Um, I'm also going to, wow, this thing picks up everything. So I apologize for that. Um, but like I said, this is just, it's gonna be kind of a ramble. If you watched my top surgery series, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the only reason I didn't record, um, well, I did record day two. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in here or not just yet, but there just wasn't anything going on. Um, I mean, I can shower now. Um, I was able to shower like the day after my surgery. Um, and so really there's not too much to go about really I, I mean I'll show you guys the supplies that I chose to go and get that I don't use <laughs> but if like if my surgery recovery had you know gone similar to how I had seen it on reddit or YouTube um, then I probably would have used them I've had so for those of you who don't know, after a hysterectomy surgery, um, you will have some bleeding. Um, trigger warning, I will be using uh, natal, natal terminology throughout this. Um, so if that um, makes you uncomfortable, I would either click away or um, you know proceed at your own caution. Um, but yes, after uh, a hysterectomy, you will have some vaginal bleeding. Um, not a whole lot, necessarily. It depends on the person. Your miles may vary. Um, I only bled for like the first day, and even then, that was a very small amount. Um, pre 
testosterone, um, my cycles were like pretty heavy actually. They were pretty, they were pretty darn heavy. Um, but they didn't cause, they didn't cause me cramps or anything like that. If there's one thing that you've probably noticed about me and, you know, surgeries or anything health related, I generally have a very easy time with just about everything. So for instance, uh, like I just said, pre-T um, cycles, like I would have some of the heaviest flows in my life, oh my god. Um, but compared to my girlfriend who has a light, who had, who had, yeah, who had, no, who has a lighter flow, deja vu moment, who has a lighter flow, um, who deja vu moment. We're just gonna see if it ends. Um, it's not ending. Definitely not ending now. Um, but anyways, um, deja vu um <laughs> but um she has a, she has a lighter she has a lighter flow compared to pre t me um but she gets way worse cramps headaches things of that nature where i i like could be having the heaviest flow and like i just be out here walking around like nothing's you know going on no cramps and if i did have cramps it was very minimal it was something that i could sleep off in like 20 minutes um so the only thing that i do have health related wise that's like super serious for me is like migraines <laughs> my i'm i'm prone to migraines sometimes um, when they come, they are super bad. They are super duper bad. Um, if I get a migraine, I'm out for the entire day. Um, <laughs> I, I traded all of my good health, my exercise, my my ability to recover from surgeries, all for migraines. Because um, <laughs> that has been, that's the only thing that I know of so far that will put me out for like hours. Um, days even if it's if it's bad enough um, but yes uh, recovery vlog this is not like I said not much has happened um, I probably will only do two of these um, up until my first pre-op um, or up until the end of the first week so um, this is start of day four end of day three um, like I said, not too much, but I will show you, go ahead and show you guys some of the, um, supplies that I went and got. It's, it's not a lot. Um, I was very, very basic. Um, I can show you guys some of the, so you might've noticed in my old videos, I had this on and I had this on. It's like a red thing. Um, and basically both of them are just well the red one is my blood transfusion um so i told them that just in case something goes wrong during surgery you can give me a transfusion so they had to put that on me like i said i had to wear it um up until my surgery i did get to find out my blood type um that so that was really really cool because i had never known i am a universal donor um so yay um but also that sucks because that means that I can only have blood from other O's. Um, even though we are some of the largest demographic, I can guarantee you we, we probably aren't out here donating blood like that. <laughs> um, um, and then the other one was just kind of like a barcode that they put on you while you're in the surgery prep room um, to make sure you know like they have the right person uh, while you go under. Um, but there are some things that I did want to talk about. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Oh, let me. I'm all over the place. Let me finish showing you guys what I got. Um, so this is what I got. This is the only thing that I got because I had heard that spotting was a possibility and so was bleeding. Um, so I went to Kroger's and I got um, men's men's underwear diapers. Um, I, whew, sorry, I specifically got a large slash extra large, um, because you don't want anything too tight around your waist. Um, hindsight 2020, I probably should have just forgone that. 
um, and just stick to like liners, honestly, or like old underwear that you don't like and are perfectly fine burning afterwards. Um, especially if, if for whatever reason you know that you're probably not going to have a whole lot of bleeding. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that I got that and then I um, got all the fluids that you saw. That was all prep. Um, but in terms of recovery, I didn't get too much. I literally just stole some Tylenol from my dad. Um, and I, I, I used that instead of the Percocet that they got me. Um, because I said in the past, I don't really want anything that's like an opiate or a narcotic that the doctor gives me just because I don't want to get addicted to it. Um, so I've been taking Tylenol. I literally only used the Tylenol for the first two days. Um, and I didn't even use a full dose. <laughs> My dad was looking at me. He was like, you know, a full dose is two Tylenols, right? And I was like, yeah, I don't need to. I only need the one. <laughs> like that's how smooth the recovery it, it was. The only thing that was slightly uncomfortable, and I won't even go so far as to call it uncomfortable. I would say just kind of weird. If you've gotten top surgery and you had your drains removed, it felt like weird in that sense. Like not painful, not aching, not discomfortment, just weird. Um, and that was my first, um, you know, bowel movement coming out of constipation. Um, one thing I should also mention is diarrhea is like, this is TMI, but diarrhea is like gone and back, which is completely normal after a surgery. Um, mainly just you got to focus on what you're eating and, and just let your body do what it needs to do. Um, obviously, talk to your doctor if you feel like this is a concern. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what that was. Um, I literally only got those two things outside of that. My mom got me the ninja which I couldn't find today on my own, which is why I got Mountain Dew. Um, I stole it from her. She's going to be so upset about that. Um, my mom loves her, her Mountain Dews. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can get up out of bed just fine. I literally roll around in bed all the time. Um, which brings me back to my other topic that I wanted to talk about today, which is I'm not sure if the reason why I'm having such a good time with recovery is because I did a vaginal, apologies, a vaginal hysterectomy, or if because I... Um, I'm just a good person when it comes to healing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, from what I've seen, I, I, mainly I was, I was expecting a lot of pain. If you look on Reddit or you look on YouTube or you talk to anybody in Discord chats, more often than not, people either got a laparoscopic assist or just a laparoscopic hysterectomy in general. Um, and the acronyms for those are L-A-V-H or a L-H, L-A, yeah, L-A-H, a laparoscopic assisted hysterectomy. Um, uh, but I, I just had plain vaginal and like I said in my, my other video, um, if you haven't gone and seen it yet, where I go over my surgeon and the details of my surgery, um, then you would know that um, vaginal hysterectomies are the most tried and true way for having a hysterectomy. Um, they, you heal faster from them. They have a smoother recovery. There's less pain in terms of recovery. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I have some um, hypotheses, hypotheses on why that is. Um, just because, you know, if you get lapo, laparoscopic, I usually call it lapro, um, then you are going to have more incisions than just the one if you did vaginal, uh, which means that your body is going to have to focus on multiple different areas of your body, regardless of how big or small, your body is going to have to divert its attention, divide its attention to multiple different areas of your body for healing. Whereas with vaginal, it's just straight it's one and done you have this one incision 
and we are going to focus all of our attention on healing it. If you've watched my um, other YouTube videos about fitness where I talk about um, the law of specificity, um, it's kind of similar to that. That law, like I said, it applies to everything in life. Um, the more you have to divert your attention to different matters and different subjects, the more you will be able to get done with each one. Whereas if you just focus all of your attention on one specific thing, then you can get more done in a faster time for that thing and be more proficient um, at it. Same thing with surgery. If you only have one, one incision that your body needs to focus on and heal, then it's gonna be able to do that quicker and faster. That's, that's all it really comes down to. Um, but, yeah, that was that was my main thing. I didn't. I've mainly just been researching, um, kind of how everybody else feels when it comes to um, vaginal hysterectomies. Not too many people uh, go through them. I personally would suggest a vaginal hysterectomy to anyone going forward. I understand as trans men that can be um, very off-putting, very dysphoria-inducing. Um, so if you can't do it because of that, you can't do it because of that. But if you have no issue with anything going down below, I, I would suggest looking into a vaginal hysterectomy. Um, you don't have to deal with the gas that they have to use. Um, my catheter was was removed um, while I was under. I, I'm honestly not sure why the doctor wouldn't remove your catheter while you're under. Um, but yeah like it's just it's just kind of um yeah that's 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 it that's like i like i'm i'm rambling but like there's nothing really to talk about when it comes to this um surgery much much smoother than i was expecting um i did read over my if you have my chart or um anything that's epic epic is like a healthcare software I'm getting really into my master's degree over here. Um, but if you have Epic or my chart, my chart is Epic. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, and it's just a software that the healthcare industry uses to record um, your medical health records, um, and uh, they call them uh, electronic uh, health records (EHRs). Um, and so you that's where you get like the discharge papers um and everything like that it's all automatic and you just kind of like click the system and you say this person that this 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 these symptoms and the system kind of just goes through computes everything and then prints out a paper um and so if you have my chart you can actually go back and click on the summaries of your visits especially if it's a surgical procedure um, and you can actually see the briefing that your doctor um, wrote up on your uh, procedure like on the actual surgery like it's like a like an abstract of what happened during the surgery I found it very very fascinating if you don't know me yet I find anything biology related and just kind of like how the human body functions very 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 fascinating um, and it was and like when I read over everything went it went fine there was like I was like I don't even like it just went smooth sailing there were no complications there was minimal bleeding my bladder was intact like he just like dissected my uterus from the every all the walls and stuff and it just kind of like went about its way and I just like nothing not like I I it, TMI again my uterus was only 50 grams <laughs> um so like the, like the, I love reading things about that um which is probably why I have an easier time with you know making decisions when it comes to surgical procedures because I'm going really based off of kind of like science um not so much emotions kind of emotions but mostly science um <laughs> but um yeah that's that's what that is um i do wear glasses if anybody is wondering um i just choose not to wear glasses um but these are prescription i pers pres prescription glasses yeah um so if you if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up comment if you have any questions definitely def definitely hit me definitely hit me up um there is nothing that you can probably ask me unless you're being rude about it 
there's nothing you can probably ask me medically related that I will not answer um, because that's just the kind of person I am. I'm, I'm all about learning. I'm all about enlightening people. Um, I'm all about helping people make informed decisions. I don't really care what decisions you decide to make as long as you have all of the information that uh, you think or I, th I would hope that you would have <laughs> to make an informed decision, a smart decision, a safe decision. Um, be smart, be safe, be informed. Um, that's my motto now. Um, and so, yes, um, there's that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's your boy, Matt Turner. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. Um, uh, hit me up on IG at Morgan7551 if you have any questions. Um, my fitness blog, obviously, you guys know about that. Um, and I hope you guys have a great morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you guys are. And I will see you next time.